before this video starts, I want to get your attention and tell you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already because we're on the road to 20k and I'm getting desperate. So subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Keen. Keen. Stop deadlifting. Stop just uploading sumo deadlifts with bumpers and deadlift bars. Please, just do squats or bench or anything or just max out something else and show us a PR of any other lift because we're getting bored. Well, I've heard your comments and... Today, I'm gonna to take you through my leg day. You happy? I won't be salty about it because I actually want to do this today because I kind of want your guys' advice on my squats. Basically, I don't know, if you've seen my Instagram story recently, you would have seen that um, squats haven't been going the best for me. I've been having wrist pain, bad wrist pain. Feeling weird, I'll explain it later in voiceover with my squats, but let's just squat today. Um, snowball. Go, go. Let's just go to the gym. Oh, I guess I do a warm up. Snowball can be quiet for my intro, please. Thank you. Okay, let's head to the gym. So squats, I'm just warming up here. I, I literally warmed up for a good 20 minutes, just full stretching and stuff, dynamic stretching. Take my shoes up there for improved stability. But um, today wasn't that bad back squatting. Um, you'll see what happens later in the video, but um, basically it's still, it, it still didn't, it, it doesn't feel that good at all. And I have lost a lot of strength on my squat, which is just brilliant stuff. So here is me first little warm up with the bar. Um, this, oh, this felt okay. I actually, I, as you can see, I took off my jumper to expose more of my rear, rear delts for the bar as I'm doing low bar for more grip. And I also use a different bar this time. It's still not the bar I wanna use. The gym is getting a bar with center knurling, a squat bar in soon. But for now I have to stick with this. It's still pretty grippy, I, I, I like it. Um, but yeah, if, if this felt good, like, like I say, it's just when you put a bit of weight on and 40 is when you start to feel the wrist pain. But today it wasn't too much wrist pain, but there's still wrist pain and I was still incredibly weak. So um, yeah. Uh, form is fine. I mean like I don't know any tips are always appreciated as always. We are just cut to the chase won't bore you This is just 40 Um, This moved fine. It did feel good Um, Any form tips about my wrists you can put them in the comments But I think they're fine and the thing is this is the way they always fucking were Um, when I was doing 140 for two which was like my peak in squats um, and They never hurt and for some reason they just hurt now. It's very odd but we move and um, we're moving to 60 now. So 60 now, um, I mean, it looks fine, but it feels <laughs> pretty heavy. I literally don't know why. It's just, yeah. I mean, it looks fine, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it anyway. I, later in the video, I actually um, did some front squats and that is actually what I switched out. That is what I am um, doing instead of back squats now. So I'll show that now. After I just show this, this was the heaviest I went in back squats today. This felt very bad. This felt heavy, even though it looks light. I think I only did three or four reps. That's three, yeah. Just three. But yeah, front squats. I moved to this right after the 80, 80 yeah, 80 by three. And um, yeah, I, safe to say I enjoy this a lot more. Um, obviously, it's only my second time doing it ever. If you're an OG on the channel, you remember. You will remember the OG days with the damn wheelie bins doing front squats. And I might shed a tear, guys. I actually might shed a tear. Um, but yeah, we're in a gym now, and it, the, 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 the charm is gone. But you know, we move. We uh, moved to 60 then after 40. I had to um, change the camera angle, just moved the phone to a different area because a girl took up the rack next to me, and the camera was right next to her, so I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. But um, this felt amazing. Uh, oh, only did two or three reps there. Um, but yeah, really just trying to hit depth. It feels, comes natural to me. I don't know why, but it feels great. Now to 80, um, I just did this for five before my PR. I didn't know I was gonna go for a PR, so I kind of fatigued myself from this, but this is just 80 for five. Oh, for one. Well, I did it for five after that was my warm up with 80. I forgot about that, but uh, yeah, I won't show the five and I'll just show you the PR now because I'm pretty happy with it. That was just 90 and now 100 now. This is the heaviest I went on um, front squats ever. So pretty happy with this. Two plates for kind of a max. It's a bit sub-maximal, sub but um, yeah, I didn't want to go too heavy the first time doing it. You know, it's just more of a heavy single, but still a big pure. Don't know why I recorded this in vertical, but this is just my um, wordy after. They could be slowed down a bit. 
Um, but yeah, just 40 kg dumbbells, um, strapless to work on my grip and hamstrings, hit my hamstrings. Um, I did three sets of five to eight on this, pretty close to failure each time, but uh, it wasn't really proper, I won't lie, because I was scared I was gonna crush my feet with those heavy dumbbells. It's, it's, it's it, yeah, it's kind of scary going to failure, but we move.